This is about a 29-foot 2006 Salem toy hauler here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And we've actually seen this camper a couple times. Um, it has uh, come and gone from our dealer's uh, inventory several times now. And uh, each time the folks will use it for a couple years, enjoy it, and then upgrade to a little bit newer, larger toy hauler. I do say this time, though, without hesitation, it is in better shape than the last time we saw it. The uh, last owner really uh, did some nice updates to it um, and uh, you know was willing to put a little money into it to be proud of it. For instance, he uh, upgraded these speakers, put a whole new Sony sound system in it to really make it sound good when he was out on the campsite. Um, not a recent update, but one thing I do like on this trailer is that it has a massive awning. That is about a 20 foot awning, maybe 22, I don't know. Very, very large awning. Like a lot of toy haulers, this is going to have a front ladder. Obviously, you can't put a ladder on the back because, you know, the door has to be back there. <laughs> um, this is generator prepped. It does not include a generator. However, it does feature all of the wiring and everything that you would need to simply drop one in of your choice and go. To date, no one has done that. It's not a real hard procedure. It's just some folks don't, uh, they, they don't like the taste in their mouth of that, uh, uh, you know cost of the generator one thing I do want to point out to you before it's time here at Halitz You see where these stickers kind of quit there has been some metal replaced on the side of the trailer However, it's always been properly maintained. It's been well riveted and everything um, Any of the folks that we've known that have ever owned this RV have never had any trouble with that um, So my guess is someone must have rubbed it on something and had to replace a little bit of aluminum it does have an onboard fueling station, though I do not believe it's ever seen a great deal of use during its uh, time. Now one thing I really do like on this one is the way the rear ramp is set up. You not only have a really heavy duty uh, reinforced ramp door, that, that thing is made to hold some serious weight, but you have a ramp to ground giant transition flap, as well as a ramp to floor transition flap. Because if you have something with small tires, i will get caught down in there. And uh, now it's easy load, easy in, easy out. Uh, there are, what, about six to eight of these really heavy duty D-rings uh, recessed right into the floor. The nice part about the recessed D-rings is that they won't, uh, you know, stick up and, and cause you to sort of bump and lose your balance a little bit when you're loading slow. Especially if you're on a two-wheel bike. As you see, it does have a private garage. And the advantage there is that you can keep all the exhaust fumes and everything from outside out of your trailer. Now, uh, a very, very unusual part of this is the front bedroom. It is extremely unusual to find a toy hauler with a walk-around front queen bed. Normally, you have a corner queen, um, which is a lot harder to make. So that was a, a very unique aspect of this floor plan. Um, up here we do have a little corner TV shelf for mom and dad in the bedroom. Central air and heat through the entire living quarter. Um, the uh, oh, the uh, thermostat is something our uh, previous owner had updated here to uh, uh, you know just provide a little better heating cooling service. He kind of felt that the previous one had a little bit too much of a delay between like the fan and the on and the off. Big double mirror medicine cabinet now. Because this is a toy hauler, we have an extra tall ceiling. You will not ever bump your head climbing in and out of this one. Very standard kitchen setup here, nothing too fancy there, but uh, everything's clean and in nice shape. That's always a good point to, or, you know, to look for. Any used RV, it really becomes more of how did they take care of it rather than how was it initially built? Because you can take a well-built trailer and absolutely trash it quickly. Um, the uh, dinette will obviously fold down into a bed. We do have a small entertainment system and some extra cabinets here above the uh, area right there. The air conditioner in this is brand spanking new. The last fellow that bought it about a year and a half ago, he had that replaced shortly after he took it home. And this does have a big loft bunk right here, and you see that it does have a ladder to help get Junior up there. Or Miss Junior, as it were. But one thing I love is they have this gigantic... Um, vent up here. It's uh, great for just letting in a lot of air, a lot of light. So there you have it. Great shape 06 toy hauler. Get a good deal on it here at Halet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Thank you everybody. Happy camping.